Listen, I want to talk to you a little bit about power, authority, and dominion. Amen. Power and authority being spiritual, but dominion being physical. Right. So dominion is sovereignty or control. A man's attempt to have control, to establish control over a people, over a nation, over nature, whatever the case may be. But I want you to understand that God has to be able to trust you with that dominion. So if you're trying to establish control that's outside of what, what God is trying to do, it becomes corruption. It becomes manipulation, which is witchcraft. And that's not good. Amen. So let me explain something to you. I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 11, verses 1 through 5. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of might. The spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees. So because he has this level of spiritual understanding and wisdom from God, he knows not to judge by what he sees physically. Spiritual babies won't understand this. <clears throat> and he won't decide by what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness, he will judge the needy. So he will not decide or make decisions influenced off of what people say. He will not judge by what he hears with his ears physically because he know better. But you have to have that level of spiritual understanding and knowledge. Right. He will with justice. He will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, with the breath of his lips. He will slay the wicked. So. Notice it says with the rod of his mouth. So the spirit, the iron rod of the spirit was put on Jesse's mouth. Amen. When you have an iron rod, when you God has blessed you with that level of anointing, where you have an iron rod on your mouth, meaning what you say goes, you have the power and authority. You have dominion. Right. You have an iron rod on your mouth. So what you say, what the Lord speaks through you has the power to raise his kingdom, has the power to shift a nation, shift the people, shift the country and has the power to destroy the works of the enemy. But listen, people will think that they will be confused and think that their dominion comes by their prayer. Now, there's different levels of anointing. Understand, you can have power and authority to cast out demons and devils, but not have dominion. Dominion is such a higher level of anointing because you have the power to shift a nation, shift a people. So it's, it doesn't come by your prayer. Understand something. There's different levels and there's different classes and different rankings in the spirit. There's different levels of anointing and it comes by your grace. So if you ha if you see somebody with a higher level of anointing and dominion, understand God has had a different level of grace on that person's life. Your anointing is delegated by God's sovereign grace. So you cannot operate beyond the level of grace that God has placed on your life. So check this out. See, Adam and Eve, they were given power and authority and dominion. They were given dominion over nature, over the animals. But listen, they were easily influenced. Check this out. When the devil came to Eve, notice Eve was easily influenced and manipulated by the devil's voice that was contrary to God's voice. So the devil deceived her, manipulated her, influenced her to eat the fruit. Therefore, Eve manipulating and influencing Adam to eat the fruit, which took that dominion, immediately put them under a curse. Immediately it put them under a curse. So notice, if you are easily influenced or manipulated to make a decision by somebody else, by another voice that's contrary to what God told you, you're spiritually weak. You're a spiritual baby and God cannot trust you with that dominion. You're not ready for it. Amen. If you're easily influenced and manipulated by somebody else's voice to make a decision that is contrary to God's, God cannot trust you with that. Check this out. <clears throat> See, Jesus, he lived an interesting life, right? Jesus, his brothers and sisters, they never believed him. They always said, well, if you're so great, go make yourself known then. Go do this, go do that. But see, notice Jesus never judged them by what they said. He judged them by their spirit. Because Jesus knew what God's will was, he wasn't going to rush God's will. And he wasn't going to go outside of God's will to try to try to prove a point to people that he know were not speaking by the spirit of God. You have to have that level of spiritual maturity and understanding. If you want that level of dominion that God put in you, that iron rod, right? That iron rod of the spirit that he put on your mouth to have the power to shift nations and shift the people. He cannot trust somebody with that level of dominion and anointing. If you're easily influenced and manipulated by somebody who's not speaking by the spirit of God, you have to have that level of spiritual maturity. If not, you're never going to be able to begin to walk in that dominion and that power and authority that God has ordained for you. That climax of that iron rod God has put on your mouth. Amen. Come on, let's get it.